There is a story of privilege in the narrative of video games. It was a hobby first, and so people who had the privilege of having a hobby of gaming were able to, to, to sort of colonize that space. Um, also, we had a little bit of an image problem in the same way that the tech industry has had an image problem. We have tended to let our conferences uh, showcase and promote uh, a specific kind of creator. We've engaged in an OTOR philosophy that privileges a single person at the top of an organization. Um, I'm very sort of conscious of when I speak about Journey to always bring up Kelly and Genova and Matt and Nick and John and Martin and Chris and all the people that worked on it. Because to me, Journey is the result of all of our efforts. I mean, three years with 12 people, that's a lot of time spent. And when Journey is exhibited in environments, we ask for it to be exhibited as the product of that game company at that time, rather than one person's particular vision. Because I think that this is the way to encourage people to participate even if they feel they might not necessarily be a director, um, they might not necessarily be the writer. Their voice is important. And when I speak in public, when I lecture uh, at universities, when I speak to young kids about games who, you know, friends and family say, oh, you make video games, that's, such, that's so unique. What a strange thing for you to do that, woman. <laughs> I try to really say, actually, I'm, I'm not that unique. I have several female friends that are designers, producers, sound designers, programmers, um, composers. They make the music and the, and the art and the code of games. Uh, you just don't see us because we've been a little bit shy about sharing ourselves with you. And part of what I'm trying to do um, as I get older and bring more people into the boat through my company and my outreach with other communities is to really be an example that you can have multiple interests, you can have a meandering path, you don't have to know right away what you want to do in life, and there's room for you in our boat. Uh, games can grow, we have a lot of room to grow, and there's no reason that we have to be as we were for the last 50 years.